Design director of Pininfarina, uh, Luca Borgogno. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you. Thank you uh, for giving me uh, a really early look at the Batista. Yeah. You know, a really, really groundbreaking car, Italian made, uh, with so many features and attributes that we've not seen in, a, in an all electric vehicle yeah. uh, from Italy before. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, a, it's an object. <laughs> so, so what, what was the idea um, behind? Uh, Pinin Farina going into making their own brand of car. Yeah, there's uh, actually two main reasons. One reason is about dreaming, okay. and is the the first one is the dream of uh, Battista. That is, of course, uh, the the car that is named. Sure. You know, the person that is named after the car, and uh, he was the founder of Pinin Farina in 1930, and he always had a dream of making a car with his own brand. Okay. Okay. The second person that had a dream is Anand Mahindra. That okay. is, uh, you know, the owner of the group that is our uh, shareholder, sure. shareholder, and uh, he always had this dream of fulfilling the dream of Batista. You know, so putting okay. the two things together was fantastic. And then the, th the second very important thing is that uh, with DVs, uh, right now there are, there's a creation of a totally different market. We are able to ex to exploit uh, the potential of electric power to its full glory, right. and so it's uh, it's probably the correct moment to do it this time. You know, so. If, if you can explain to me, I already know, but I, I would love for the people that are going to watch this video to understand really the feats of engineering that you guys have achieved in this in this machine. You know? Yeah. Um, so uh, the brake horsepower. Yes. One thousand. I'm, I'm not an horse. engineer, so I'm not going to go into detail. Sure. <laughs> but the car is nineteen hundred brake horsepower, right. uh, and uh, it has uh, two thousand three hundred newton meters of torque. We are talking about uh, performance uh, that are mind blowing because from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in less than two seconds. For me, even more mind blowing is zero to 300 that is going to be around 12. <laughs> right. So this is uh, very crazy. So of course, uh, if you imagine that uh, every single wheel will have to deliver on the on the ground uh, more than 500, 450 brake horsepower, so it is something that is not known right yeah. now in the, in the world. So, yeah, it's yeah. a first. And, and yeah. And from a design perspective, what did you want the car to speak about? Because there's so many iconic cars that have been yeah. made um, by the house for decades. You know, cars that have cars that have auctioned for a lot of money. Yeah. And there's really, really a history attributed to uh, Pinin Farina yeah. as a brand, as a design house. So, what did you want, and what did you look at from a design point of view? In, in order to create your own identity, having already made so yeah. many classic cars for other brands before. We made a very deep investigation to the cars that were designed by Pininfarina in the past. And what we found out uh, was that uh, uh, we had three or four keywords that come out. That is purity first. Purity not only for the, for the emissions and the powertrain, but purity for the design as well. So something that is very, very simple. Okay. That there's a lot of clarity of execution. What does it mean? It means that uh, with just one line, you need to be able to sketch a car. You know, and okay. for this car, is the line that runs from the from the front uh, uh, wing goes towards the side and climbs over the rear wings like okay. that. If you sketch that that line, you recognize it's a Battista. And then, of course, the maximum integration in perfect harmony between aesthetics and technical. Right. And this is uh, not uh, not Bauhaus style in which the, the technical was much stronger, but uh, they, they, they need to live in perfect harmony. And that's why the car is, uh, it doesn't have any visible spoiler. Right. It's everything is super integrated. Even the intakes are hidden in the perfect way. So they are not disturbing the sexiness of the shape. Yeah, I think I think with, with the way the world is now and the awareness for <laughs> For climate change, the awareness for sustainability, um, the importance of electric cars now becoming not just something of, of a convenience or or, or or an A to B solution, but actually as a luxury object and something that can still deliver from a from an aesthetic point of view and a performance point of view. Um, so it's really interesting to see the developments and, and how that, from, from us as outsiders to see how this develops and goes forward. Yeah, yeah. I think it's uh, it's very important to say that uh, uh, I am a, 
uh, I am like like all of our team as well. We are great car enthusiasts. We like uh, V12s. So we like this kind of things. But uh, it's we want to communicate with this car that uh, life uh, is going to be good <laughs> in right. the future. We will enjoy it anyway. You know, with okay. these performances, with these designs, uh, you know, it's it's going to be nice anyway. Even if it's uh, it's not a bad thing to have electric cars. Absolutely. Right. So it's uh, I, we're really going to the right direction. I think. Yeah. And, and finally, okay, so the car is limited to 150 units. Yes. Approximately, I guess, 50 for the US, 50 for Europe, 50 for the rest of the world. I mean, plus minus, I guess, can, More or less, yes. can happen. Um, and the retail price, the starting retail price is? It's about a little bit less than 2 million. Two million euros. euros. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Yes, right. more or less. Beautiful car. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm happy you like it. Pleasure. <laughs> Thank you.